My name is Samuel Bolu. When the European market switched on to the new variety called MD2, it was very difficult for us to adopt to the new uh, variety because we don't have the technology. The land preparation is quite different. The fertilization, almost everything was different. And at the end, if you continue the way it was, we would have ended up even closing up the farm. Thanks to SDF, we received a grant of 248,000 Ghana cities, which enabled us to bring in a consortium consultant who is currently teaching us to cultivate the new variety MG2. At the moment, we have been able to increase our yield from 20 tons to 80 tons per hectare, and we are able to sell to European and North American markets. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian firms become competitive. From now till 20 of January 2014, SDF is requesting firms that require innovative skills and technology to submit their proposals for assistance. Visit sdfghana.org or call 0209-977-796 or 0209-977-899. SDF, funding for skills and technology development. Rice is a major staple food in Ghana. It is consumed within the domestic and commercial setting in any Ghanaian community. Rice can be used for various local and continental dishes, including rice balls, wache, rice water, fried rice, jollof rice, etc. Ghana produces only 30% of the local demand for rice, which means that about 70% of the product is imported from Europe, America and South America. SDF has been supporting the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body, a group of over 9,000 rice farmers, processors and marketers to increase their rice output as part of a broad strategy to increase local production and reduce the over-reliance on rice imports in Ghana. Today, we paid a visit to one of the demonstration farms. My name is Albert Ankara and you are welcome to SDF Diaries. Rice has become a major staple food in Ghana. It is consumed within the domestic and commercial setting in any Ghanaian community. Rice can be used for various local and continental dishes, including rice balls, wache, rice water, fried rice, jollof rice, etc. Ghana produces only 30% of the local demand for rice. About 70% of the product is imported from Europe, America, and South America. The importation of rice is therefore essential to provide food security. However, Ghana spends over 400 million US dollars each year to import rice, a situation that has adverse implications on our balance of payment, the availability of foreign exchange, and sometimes inflation. Another major implication of Ghana's huge rice import bill is unemployment in the local rice sector. By spending 400 million US dollars on imported rice, we end up creating jobs in Europe, America and South America rather than in Ghana. Efforts by past regimes to boost local rice production as a strategy for reducing the over-reliance on rice imports, thereby creating a market for locally produced rice, has not succeeded due to the limited production capacity of the local rice farmer. The local rice farmer faces a severe challenge in the absence of a modern technology and skill that maximizes crop yield per acre of rice grown. Presently, the average rice farmer in Ghana, using existing traditional methods of rice farming, is only able to harvest 2 metric tons per hectare, compared to a continental average of 6 to 8 metric tons in countries like Mali. This is also due to the existing harvesting and post-harvest practices. In order to reduce rice imports without creating shortage in the local rice market, there is a need for the assurance that local rice farmers have the capacity to produce to meet local demand. One such technology is being used in other model rice producing countries like Mali, which is currently being replicated, is a system rice intensification SRI technology. A proven method of growing cultivating rice to achieve maximum efficiency and output. SRI, which uh, translates to a rice intensification system or system of rice intensification. 
It's a technology which was developed by this, a, a monk or something, a, a priest in uh, Madagascar. And uh, it is supposed to increase productivity of rice fields while using less agrochemicals, less uh, labor, and less seed. We notice that this technology has a huge potential to almost quadruple or even more the current production of uh, rice in this country because a lot of uh, our agronomic practices here uh, 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 use a lo uh, creates a lot of wastage in form of seeds, in the use of agrochemicals and even uh, the management of the rice fields is difficult but SRI makes uh, the field very orderly such that uh, you use seeds that you nurse, rice seeds that you nurse and you transplant. And so you can use even about six kilo for a whole acre. Whereas when you use the old traditional system that we use like broadcasting, you can use about 25 to 50 kilos on just the same acre. And once you transplant, you transplant in rows, and so it's easy for you to control weeds, uh, chemical application for pest control and uh, 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 fertigation or uh, fertilization. It's easier to be done and harvesting too is easy. So we realized that uh, Grape decided to promote this concept as a bottom to top approach because if you want more rice and you want quality rice, it must start right from the, rice, right from the field. And so if we are producing a lot of rice and good quality rice from the field, then you should know that definitely the end consumer will definitely have good quality rice. Among the major stakeholders currently adopting the use of SRI in Ghana is the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body, GRIP. GRIP is a 184-member rice growing association based in Accra with over 9,000 members in all 10 regions in Ghana. The members of GRIP include rice farmers, rice millers, women rice processor groups, rice marketers, import dealers and machinery service providers. The main objectives of the association are to improve dialogue and consensus between rice stakeholders, collect and produce and disseminate information on rice sector to members and other stakeholders, identify factor chain constraints and find solutions through pilot technical activities, promote price negotiations and profit sharing mechanisms among stakeholders, promote and regulate marketing agreements, raise funds for the rice sector development among others. The Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body also plays an advisory role for their members on issues on production, processing, marketing and pricing. Why I call it the rice industry is that it's a multifaceted industry with so many players. Before the rice gets to your, uh, your table, there are people who cultivate it, the people who prepare the fields, there's a whole lot of machinery, there's a technology that is involved. After this harvested, there are people who have to take it to the mills, make sure that it gets into the state that you can get it on your table. And so there is packaging there, there is uh, processing there, there are farmers there, there are agrochemicals there, and there are people who use machinery to prepare the field because rice requires a very good, decent field. We don't grow it at any other crop, as it's called the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body. It's supposed to bring some sort of convergence of these uh, stakeholders in the rice industry. Because once it's an in integrated industry, no one can work in isolation. We all have to come together and make sure that we share knowledge, we share input resources, and make sure that we deliver that, uh, the, the, uh, in that uh, so that the industry can grow. So we, the uh, GRIP is fa facilitates a convergence, uh, consensus, and dialogue among these uh, stakeholders. In the end, it goes to support the industry because everyone knows which, uh, the role and stage that they are and they play their role. Once they play their roles effectively, we believe that uh, the industry will grow to create jobs, uh, sustainable jobs, and of course uh, ensure the, the nation of food security, particularly in rice. In March 2013, the Skills Development Fund awarded a grant of 100,854 Ghana CDs to the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body for skills upgrading and technology transfer in the use of system rice intensification technology in rice farming. You know, the core objective of SDF 
is to support businesses in this country to improve upon their productivity. That is the fundamental objective of SDF. In this regard, GRIP, you know, it has so many farm member farmers. And currently, well, before it applied for grant, it used to have a yield of two tons per hectare of farmland. Now this is quite low. And so they had identified a certain technology that they claimed could enhance their yield from two to eight. And we did investigate this claim and found that to be okay. And so we gave a grant for them to adopt that technology. And currently, as we speak, they've been able to increase their yield from the two that used to be to eight that currently obtains. And, you know, this is helping them to enhance their livelihood. Members are getting a number of times what they used to have. Two, as a country, if you aggregate these enhanced yields, it's supporting the effort of government to reduce rice imports by volume, conserving our foreign exchange also. And as more rice is being, uh, you know, farmed and harvested, the impact also is that we, we're going to need more hands to harvest, we're going to need more hands to, to process the rice, more hands to transport. And so that also adds value to, to the economy. And so SEF here is achieving its objective of enhancing the productivity of the farm um, that exists, grip, I mean. And we, we're also expecting that the effect of this on many other farmers around is that they would also be looking for innovative ways of enhancing their yields and we also welcome other applications in that regard so that together as a people we could support our farmers, our fishermen and many other professions to enhance productivity and make the country more competitive. The SDF grant has been used by the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body to engage consultants from the Expanded Agriculture Trade Project to train members on the application of the system rice intensification technology. As part of the project, demonstration farms were established to aid in the practical training of 12 selected members of the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body who in turn trained other members nationwide in the application of the system rice intensification technology. My name is Jacob Enu Ansa and I own Enu Ansa Farms. What we are into is uh, tilapia hatchery fishing. We are concerned about increasing our production. Our biggest resource is water. Our riverbed where we source our water is drying up and we needed to recirculate the little that we get. So we heard about SDF, we applied the approved application, got the funding that we needed to help us uh, install the recirculation aquaculture systems and also supported us to bring in an expert to train us and install the systems. Uh, since then we've been producing uh, 600,000 from the previous 200,000 monthly. And indeed we have capacity to do up to 1 million fingerlings. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian firms become competitive. From now till 20 of January 2014, SDF is requesting firms that require innovative technology to submit their proposals for assistance. Visit sdfghana.org or call 0209-977-796 or 0209-977-899. SDF, Funding for Skills and Technology Development. The skills acquired through the SDF-funded system rise intensification technology has already begun yielding dividend on the ground, testifies Ofosuin Tiamwa, a rice farmer and member of GRIP in the Asante Achim South District. Is it me a seventy bus? You bought cry eighty. I for the young Cassiette said an anchor donor, a first panel, and my pound cry to be the net catasso, as the non Cassiente, to be the net catasso. The Mikani, I tried as a queer queer for the day. A barber for cry a boy a pa, a my eight minuska, to me the future of my school fees, it will be here and put in my brie, and the Catu Jazza, a queer for the now, be our mamma dance of a father for Kana, a dear moon. Now, a boy a queer for. Not only the SDF support to GRIP members yielded outcomes on productivity, but also positive impacts on profits. 
This is confirmed by Kwesi Ali Ziaba, another grape rice farmer. A Ghana rice and professional body. I try to short friend in grape. I'm a bit saying I'm with the Aquan Biso. A boy, a pa. And can an anchor you see a horn the a juma. Be it me a eka. As we can I be a no. Maybe I am okay to a bibia says bass. A cotonwa be a six million. Yes, be a at the TM fast running in Ina six million. As we say, no, I'm a chair or money mundiano. A man and more and a yano, a corner nympha, a canoe. It means twenty bass. Your first one could do twenty million. The Ama, your name, Diano, and I is sicker in your hand, a cost ramay. The aboy a pa di in your sicalibi, and the year your near ma senior near panel. The introduction of SRI rice growing technology has also facilitated economic empowerment of women, especially those involved in rice farming. Apart from providing them with jobs, they have begun witnessing the increase in output occasioned by SRI. Today, for the same acre of land, they are reaping about 80% more than they previously did. Ya Ousua is the leader of one of these women groups involved in rice farming. I am a member of the government na ye e wan ne kana nya be five bars so a bra a grip of one be chire ye e mu ne dwe na ni su no e na ye wan ne kana nya 25 bars ti e wan e hu sa be fo kwa na o be chire ye no aboa ye pa kana na na ma na do na ne ni adwuma so time na mo be chire ye sa e mu na ni su ne dwia no amen na ye nso ye nya adwuma bi fofro pa e be boa ye nso e ye ti e da mo ase e ne mo mo a mo da be boa ye it is estimated that only 30% of rice consumed is produced locally. At national yield of 2.4 metric tons per hectare on a 197,480 hectares of land under cultivation, Ghana is presently producing 463,000 metric tons and importing about 1 million metric tons each year. If Ghana is able to efficiently replicate the use of SRI by all rice farmers, Ghana will be able to produce an optimum 2 million metric tons of rice from the current 197,480 hectares. This will mean a total end to rice imports. Mwa SDF, Edi Abua Grip, Ama Omanya Nimdia, Omadia Babua, Yemensi Hano. The mestre other stakeholders, and say, almost so and so a grip for assent. Now, Nimdia, no Moyano, Omotimetre, Matabem, Nempo, your district, Adon, Kayaka, and maybe in Son Son, a district, Akadon, I will so a dear a mono. Said the Abaya, Yayaqua for Nasatem, a bay, and can come my idea a mon. The mestre, sir, other stakeholders, Nina, Ubia Moa, that's I Nimdia, and Tren Quachi. Nama Ghana has a more a crano and perform nine years car and from more and put to Juma a Kosovo or Mayimu. Currently, the consumption of rice in this country is dominated by imported rice. Uh, we realize that uh, with the interventions that the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body is putting in place. We believe that not in the too distant future, when these technologies like the SRI is adopted, it's going to boost the production base within a very short time uh, uh, in this, uh, 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 when it comes into play, uh, or farmers adapt it. Because we are definitely going to encourage our farmers to uh, adopt this technology. And even we intend by next year to even spread it more so that more farmers will adopt the technology. We believe that given the grace of God, of course, because we rely on uh, 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 climatic conditions still, though we are improving a lot of irrigated fields are being developed. Grape, as a private organization, intends to build the capacity of its members to deliver much, much more rice to uh, the consuming public. We, 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 we see not in the too distant future that 
many people will be absorbed by this industry, given jobs, many people will be fed by this industry, and many people will, will, will actually benefit from it, just like a new cocoa that we, we have got. We see that rice is a lucrative job and it's big business. This time, we see, we invite all Ghanaians to come on this bandwagon to ensure that within the not too distant future, Ghana will be self-sufficient in rice production. My name is Samuel Bolu. When the European market switched on to the new variety called MD2, it was very difficult for us to adopt to the new variety because we don't have the technology. The land preparation is quite different, the fertilization, almost everything was different. And at the end, if you continue the way it was, we would have ended up even closing up the farm. Thanks to SDF, we received a grant of 248,000 Ghana cities, which enabled us to bring in a consortium consultant who is currently teaching us to cultivate the new variety MG2. At the moment, we have been able to increase our yield from 20 tons to 80 tons per hectare, and we are able to sell to European and North American markets. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian firms become competitive. From now till 20 of January 2014, SDF is requesting firms that require innovative skills and technology to submit their proposals for assistance. Visit sdfghana.org or Call 0209-977-796 or 0209-977-899. SDF, funding for skills and technology development. This shows that Ghana is on its way to achieving self-sufficiency in rice production. And this will help us reduce our reliance on rice importation into the country. Unfortunately, this all time will allow us on your exciting edition on SDF Diaries. I have to end now, but please make a date with me same time next week. Bye for now.